Howdy, I'm Bill Holcomb with Clay County, Texas A&M AgriLife Extension up here in far North Texas. North Texas being about 15 miles south of Red River in Oklahoma. This is not typically an area we consider a good place to grow plants, horticulture, that speaking, which made it the perfect location to do an earth kind rose trial. Four years ago, I got with Dr. George with Texas A&M AgriLife Extension, and we started setting up and planning how to do this. We implemented it by uh, getting together with the city of Henrietta. We got donation from Smith's Garden Town in Wichita Falls, the Henrietta Clay County Chamber of Commerce, Clay County Beef Committee, Farm Bureau, our local Farm Bureau board, and uh, Pierce Sales here in Henrietta to fund this. And what we did, as you can see behind me, we established four rose beds. These four beds were lined out, we put uh, compost down on them, and then we randomized, planted 48 different rose bushes, 12 varieties for, uh, in each four bed, randomly planted in each bed. And after we got them planted and established, um, this was in May of 2017, I watered them three times that summer, and since then, the only thing that has been done to them is an annual application of mulch. Um, no pesticides, no fertilizers, uh, no herbicide been applied to the roses of any kind. Uh, they did get trimmed this spring, only because when we hit negative eight degrees up here, they died back about half the rose bush. So if you'd been here, if we'd been here last spring, some of these rose bushes were about eight feet tall, but had to trim them back just for that cold. But that's a good sign. The rose bushes are flourishing, they're thriving. And this is an area of Texas here on the rolling plains where we're talking about weather extremes from one year these roses have experienced 114 degrees in July. This past winter they got down to negative eight degrees. That's a a very big swing of temperatures these roses have acclimated to. Also, we have summers where these roses tracking rainfall have gotten less than two inches of rain without supplemental irrigation. And then we have had summers where they have gotten 36 inches of rain just from May to August. So they have gone through a great extreme. They've gone through various fungal uh, problems exposures, insect pests, extreme heat, drought, dryness, the works. And I can say that the vast majority of these roses have thrived and flourished in this setting, which I've been very happy to see. Uh, give me here a minute and we'll go through and show you some of my favorites. Thank you. Howdy, we all love a yellow rose bush. I love yellow roses. And this one right here is a true outstanding rose in this uh, trial. This is called Gay Hammond. It was hybridized by a member of our Earthkind Rose team, Dr. Zizlak in the University of Wisconsin, and was named after Gay Hammond, who is uh, also a member of the Rose team down in uh, Houston. And this is just a huge, well flowering rose bush. It's a little shorter than it was due to the freeze last February, but um, a year ago this thing was eight feet tall. I'm six foot five to give you an example. And uh, last September, I actually evaluated this rose bush and counted 165 blooms on it. It is amazing bloom. It is very rarely throughout the year is it without bloom. It has a great fragrance, and even black spot hardly ever shows up on it. It is a phenomenal rose bush. One of the things we grade Earthkind roses is on, not officially, but personally, is how well they smell. And I wish y'all were here to smell this today. This uh, rose right here is extremely fragrant. It's called Beverly. It makes a nice, huge bloom. It gets to be a pretty large plant here in our uh, trial. It has beautiful foliage, grows really well, healthy looking, and um, it's just a phenomenal plant for us in this trial. Uh, if you could look down here, I didn't talk about it earlier, I mentioned it in the beginning, but there's a lot of uh, thick sponging mulch down here at the base. That's important to keep down the weeds. It's also important to retain moisture. And uh, Dr. George is fond of saying if the mulch you're walking on isn't spongy, you need to replace it. And well, this, this is uh, doing its job real well right now. 
I was just talking about Beverly earlier. I wanted to highlight on this particular bush all the healthy foliage, the number of buds that are exploding out of it. I mean, it's just a tremendous example of the kind of performance these rose bushes have been giving us in the trial. And it's just phenomenally healthy, phenomenally lush. Just a very, very nice example. Our final rose we're going to highlight from the trial today is called Plum Perfect. Uh, purple roses aren't as common to most people, but they're getting to be more and more of them. This one has done well. It has a phenomenal scent to it that I, I personally love. And it has shown really good resistance to drought and heat and uh, pest stress. It's done well in our trial. Um, like many of the roses have done very well. If you are interested in more information on Earthkind roses, you can go to aggiehorticulture.tamu.edu or you can just Google Earthkind roses and it'll come right up. Thank you.